This is example 4.1 on page 142 of our textbook. Um, and this is going to be our first example with balancing chemical equations. So here we're given um, text and we need to translate that not only to a chemical reaction, but then we have to make sure that the chemical reaction is balanced so that we don't um, violate the law of conservation of mass. So this question states to write a balanced equation for the reaction between solid cobalt-3 oxide and solid carbon to produce solid cobalt and carbon dioxide gas. So we're just going to go in order and write down these compounds. Um, we should have learned these skills in chapter 3 from going um, from words to writing a formula and vice versa. So first up is solid carb, um, cobalt 3 oxide. So it's telling us that cobalt has a plus 3 charge, um, and we know oxygen as an ion is minus 2. So our formula for this is going to be CO2O3. Basically, we need to have enough of each for the charges to cancel. And I can go back and show you that real quick. So if I have CO3 plus, because it's telling us cobalt parentheses 3, that means it has a plus 3 charge. And we have oxygen as an ion, which is 2 minus. If we do our crisscross rule, our compound becomes CO2O3. And we know that it's a solid, because that's stated in the problem. So I'm going to put a little parentheses S. And that's reacting with solid carbon. So as an element, carbon is just C, and it's a solid. Put, put a little S next to it. And then it's going to produce, so react to produce, that's where our error goes, solid cobalt, cobalt by itself in the elemental form is just CO, and it tells us it's a solid, plus carbon dioxide gas. So formula for carbon dioxide is CO2, and it says it's a gas. So now we have our equation written. The next step is going to be to figure out what coefficients go in front of my compounds. So first, um, kind of the strategy, if you want to adopt a more systematic um, method of doing this, is to balance the coefficients of atoms contained only within the compounds first. So we're not going to look at carbon or cobalt first. Um, the only element that contained is contained solely in just a compound and not by itself is oxygen. So we have three oxygens on um, this side of the equation and two oxygens on this side. So the only kind of common factor between these two um, is going to be if we bring both of these numbers up to six. So in order to do that, I'm going to put a coefficient two in front of my cobalt two oxygen, or CO2O3. And in front of the CO2, I'm going to put a 3. So now I have coefficient applies to the subscript. So I have four cobalts on this reactant side and six oxygens, because that 2 applies to this subscript and this subscript. And on this side, I have three carbons and six oxygens. So now my oxygens have been balanced. Um, all the other atoms within this um, reaction are also existing as elements. So that's the next thing I'm going to do to balance. Um, I'm going to start with cobalt and then go with carbon. So because we put a 2 in front of the cobalt 2, or the cobalt oxide, cobalt 3 oxide actually, that's its name, 
Um, we now have four cobalt on our reactant side, so we need to put a four in front of our cobalt on our product side so that we ha can have those amounts be equal. So now the cobalts are balanced. I have four cobalts on the product side, four cobalts on the reactant side. So last step is to balance the carbon atoms. So on our product side, we have three carbons here. And on our reactant side, the only source of carbon is from our solid. Um, so since it's by itself, we will just put a three in front of that carbon. So now to double check, we have um, basically to double check to make sure that our equation is balanced, all of the elements on either side are equal to one another. So we have four cobalt on the reactant side, four on the product. We have six oxygen on the reactant side, six on the product. And then we have three carbon on the reactant side and three carbon on the product side. So yes, we have a balanced equation and it's going to be two CO2O3 solid plus three C solid gives you four CO solid plus three CO2 gas. And that is your final balanced equation.